I wanted to show something here. Um, this is a good break here from this. I wanted to do a little video breakdown that we didn't quite get a chance to do with Osborne, but it was uh, he brought up the, the point about uh, formations with us, and I thought it was outstanding. And 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 how he said that you know when they did things on offense, they ran five wide all the way to full house backfield and everything in between, and that was what made the offense and defense complex. And I had all this ready to go. We just didn't have time to do it with him. But I wanted to show some of the five wide on both sides. This is five wide of Nebraska running it against Florida. And then Florida turning around and running five wide against us and how we did it right and they did it wrong. So uh, here, I'm going to start with the the offense. And the offense here, first two plays, these are five wide. We're drop back passes. We're throwing the ball a little bit here and uh, kind of mixing it up. That So – and these are the first two that we ran. So Florida, from their perspective, they see this. And and essentially, as Terry Donahue said, we're running their offense, even though we weren't. It was the next play here. We turn around and we do the 34 quarterback trap, as as Osborne uh, told me. Because I said, hey, this is just like running the, the fullback trap. And he goes, yeah, it's the, it's the quarterback trap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so so we, used the, we used the spread. We used five wide receivers to spread them out so we could run right up the middle on them. I mean, it makes total sense. Move, you know, align them in a way that you want them to be so you can go where, where they're not. Well, let's look defensively for a second here. And they go into five wide here, and we come out, and boom, we get a sack there with Terrell Farley. We bring, essentially, at that case, we brought, I think it was five against five. But on this play here, we bring six against five. And they block it absolutely perfectly. They just don't have enough guys. I'm going to show these again here in slow motion. And this first one here, this is the one where we bring, I believe it's five guys here. And on the bottom, no, actually, it's, we only bring four guys because we do a zone blitz. We drop uh, one of the defense alignments. So we only bring four against five, and we get a sack on them. Okay. The next play here, the actual sack, they start with a guy in the backfield, and they have four wide receivers. So, and still going here, slow motion. Move. Let's How go, guys. Not a safety. Keep talking, hockey. Okay. So here, they're motioning the guy out to the bottom. So if they would have kept him in the backfield, imagine this. They have five linemen, and they pick up one-on-one. -on -one. They pick up our defensive ends. They pick up the middle three guys, pick up a stunt with the two defensive tackles. They pick up a blitzing middle linebacker. They blocked it perfect. They just simply ran out of guys. And if they don't motion that running back out at the beginning, if they keep in the backfield, they have a chance to pick up Williams on the blitz. Their six guys would have perfectly picked up our six guys, and we would have been really in some trouble. I think, you know, we would have been trying to cover four guys with, with five defenders, and all it takes is one little break, and that could be one of those 99-yard plays. But they motioned out. They went to five wide. We attacked right where they weren't. And we hit them so fast that they never had a chance to even, you know, get through any of the reads that that sending a fifth guy out, they never had a chance to even look at him because it, the there was so much pressure coming on him so quick that, that that ended up being a moot extra receiver. So using the exact same formation, we spread them out and we run it right up the gut on them. They spread it out and we just attack them right up the gut with one extra player and we get the sack. I don't know how we got to this part in the point in the discussion on the show tonight, but man, honky, keep talking. No, I just, you know, <laughs> I, I, I queued up all these videos for the Osborne show. And, you know, we went into the Osborne show and we're, we didn't know if we were going to get 15 minutes or 30 or 45. And it's like, so, you know, depending on how much time we'd have. And I, so I had all this video ready to go. And I was like, <laughs> I, was like I wanted to like just sit and talk football with, with Tom there. But so uh, you had that video lined up for. Uh, I had oh, all yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that so I got a quick question. Um, Our quarterback was doing this thing on when we were five wide. Our quarterback was lined up. Our what quarterback? Was he, doing? he was like, he was, he was like right there. Like the center was right in front of him. What is, what was that? I've never oh, you I mean like seen an that. Under center? Oh, that. I haven't seen that in so long. I just, I got confused. I, I was like, There's, Nebraska does. I that. forget who's that, that quarterback's name. I, I, I uh, can't some recall kid. it. Some kid. I, I can't remember. Well, there's a chance we'll we'll go back under center here uh, sometimes this year. I think that could be that could be some fun. I think I think our former quarterback he he made some reference that he might go under center at K State, and I hope I hope he has he does well there too at K State. So, but but I think that we're gonna have a good chance of getting under center with Whipple and uh, yeah. Thank you, Stephen. Yeah, that is killer video, man. That is that is uh, really good football back then. I, I just loved it. I loved it when Terry Donahue came out and. He's like they're they're running 
Florida's offense. And I'm like, I've never seen Florida run that. You know, I've seen no, no, I understand. I've seen that was actually late like that, in the first quarter, right? And then, uh, then that was the first play of the second quarter. In the quarterback draw. Right? By the way, sorry, uh, that I one just, was in the yeah, even the third quarter. Actually, it was after oh, that was halftime. Third, that they did run one in the first or in the first half, like in the second quarter, and the timing was a little off. You basically you have to take a step back if you're the quarterback. Let the guy right. pull in front of you. Get the get the timing to be like a fullback trap. So you yep. got to take that step back. Yep. And he actually ran into, I think it was Aaron Taylor was pulling and they, and it still went for like 10 yards, even bumping right. into his guard. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you, you spread them out. You get one more guy out of the middle of the field and then you end up that your reward is you run the ball with Tommy Frazier instead of a fullback. I mean, yeah. it, it, it was yeah. just like exactly. brilliant. We were only 91 days from the season. I think is what it was. It's 90 right now. I believe. Is it 90 today? Is it? Yeah, That's what I, I heard. I may have uh, missed the day. So, Hockey, do you have other videos you want to show us? No, that was it. Oh. Hey, you know what? Maybe that could be a. That could be I a thought there was just the whole catalog. Keep, oh, gosh. Keep I, going. Keep going, man. I, I would. I mean, I did. I don't know if you guys saw, but I held up that picture because Dave's going, yeah, who was that quarterback? And I've got the big old sign picture. Yeah, it's not good podcasting. Good thing. We're I, well, it is. If you're watching it live on YouTube, subscribe and hit True. that bell so you can notify every Tommy time we go Fraser live. Poster. You know? Once again, a nice segue, Rob. So, Thank you. Know, you. Yeah. so maybe that's something like, uh, you know, Redcaster, send us if you want like a, a play broken down or you want a certain video, you know, for a future show. Maybe we'll do like a little play diagram during during a. Uh, Especially these off-season shows right now, so that'd be that'd be fun. See, Dave and Jason Stinger liked it. He said, "Love it, Rob." So, I mean, he saw it live right here on YouTube. So, I'm sorry that the people listening so, later can't see it, but they can always go back and watch it on YouTube. Value too, of video, I understand. 